Thank you very much for that. It's not an easy question. Um, the first comment, I would hope there'd be a wonderful turnout for a presentation in your series of how the church saves us or is an instrument of God's salvation. Because it's not the church that saves us. It is Jesus Christ that saves us and the prime sacrament of salvation is the church, of course. But as we know from even church teaching, the mystery of salvation is even larger than the institutional boundaries of the Catholic Church or even of Christianity because it rests in the incredible love, mercy, and grace of God who is, who is creator and savior of all through Jesus. And I think there was a good turnout for Dr. Perkins, was there not? Um, with a fascinating reflection on Paul. And by the way, uh, you probably already heard, I'm connected to her, and I'm co you might not know I'm connected to Jim Martin. As I said, open the first page. Fame Perkins' husband, Ed Stevens, hired me at Regis College. <laughs> and I just spent a week entertaining a good friend of ours, Father Thomas Widner, SJ, who served on the America staff with and Father Jim Martin. So there you are, we're all related in the Catholic tradition. It's a larger concern that you raise as question number two, though, is that I happen to be a person who is deeply grateful for the last 45 years of Catholicism, of a Vatican II church, which is not discontinuous or a new creation compared to the church before, but certainly experienced by a number of us in new and vibrant ways. Friends, I don't think we would be here 45 years ago for an evening like this at least in my recollection of adult nurture and formation. Is that your recollection as well? Yes. Yeah. And how extraordinary it is. And this is just one little manifestation of adult nurture, sacred scripture study, prayer groups, and all of it. I certainly wouldn't be here. Because in my youth, if you were serious about theology, and were a male, you could consider the brotherhood or the priesthood because essentially theology was done by ordained people. I stand before you as a layperson who thought somehow as Vatican II was unfolding, there would be new opportunities for baptized, graced people like yourselves and myself, whether ordained or lay, in this church. And and I'm still convinced the renewal of liturgy was an extraordinary breakthrough that when well done, you and I know deeply touches us from our birth to our death. I'm convinced it is not that the Roman liturgy and its sacramentality is lacking, but as in many professions and experiences, how well do we do it? And how, what kind of resources do we bring to bear? And what kind of community will we be? And I smiled when I heard pieces of Father Jim Martin's talk because one of the pieces that I was thinking about was this. You and I have our challenges cut out for us as Catholics being in Massachusetts. I tell you why. In a Pew Research poll, guess where we are of the 50 states in terms of belief in God and frequent prayer? Take a guess. We're not at the bottom. Got good news for you. How about number 43 out of 50? So as I remind my students, don't think your local cultural experience is the culture of the whole country. 
and this won't surprise you, which region of the country tops the charts? Yeah. South. The South does. And then through the Midwest. Guess which states along with Alaska tend to populate the last decile? It's us. Along with, but take courage, you could be in Vermont. <laughs> but does that affect the impact and the challenges of being Catholic here? Yeah. And Catholicism is a comedy. To be a Catholic is to live a comedy. Not in the ha-ha of a burlesque or slapstick. But you know in the ancient Greek tradition, in works of literature, there were tragedies and there were comedies. And comedies always ended on a note of hope with dancing and singing and rejoicing. Think about it, dear friends. When you understand being Catholic, it says in face of all the world's challenges, outside as well as challenges within our church, that when all is said and done, we are people of Christmas and Easter. And while despair is always at the gates, to be Catholic means hope wins. Life beats death. Reality and order beats disorder, and grace trumps sin. And as the beloved Paul Harvey, who is now doing announcements in heaven, I believe, would say, and that, dear Catholics, is the rest of the story. God bless you. My God. Thank you and all I know coming. it's not easy getting up from chairs quickly either. You are most gracious, if not sacrificial. Especially for seasoned people. <laughs> uh, there is some uh, light refreshment.